Hello everyone, it's Jeffrey Wolf Studios here. My name's Alcaris, and we're playing Undertale. This is part two. Um, I have to kind of apologize for like the last recording, because like, um, I felt like it wasn't really that good. And it could have been better the way I was commentating and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, um, also I had to, uh, redo this recording because uh, the, the file that I had just disappeared. Don't know what happened to it. it turned into a, it just turned into a folder for no reason. No idea why what happened, but it just did. So anyway, um, I had to redo the, the game file over so it might be a little bit different from last time. So, uh, I'll just pick up from where I was at last time, which was here at the mouse hole, and proceed with the game. Okay, right. and uh, all right, let's get into it. Let's speak to this ghost, huh? Z z z z z z z z z z z z. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loudly, repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. Will we with force? Sure, let's do it. Here comes Snaps to Blue, same as usual. Act. Let's cheer him up. You gave Snaps to Blue a patient smile. Heh. Mm. It's quite hard to dodge that one. It just comes around and drops. Anyway, uh, let's keep cheering him up. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Cheering seems to have improved Napster Blue's mood again. Let's keep cheering him up. Napster Blue wants to show you something. Let me try. Hmm. I call it Dapper Blue. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Eagerly awaits your response. Oh, gee. I usually come to the rooms because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the side here and... Okay, spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G and we get a donut. 18G and we get a jug. Let's get a second one. All right. Also, if you hear uh, the fan noise in the background, that's probably because I've got a fan extension added to my laptop, which I'm using to keep the, the whole thing cooled down better. And, uh, yeah. So hopefully it's not too loud. Spirit, yellow. What do you think of that? It's very helpful. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go back to that mouse hole and save again. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, uh, attack. Boom! <laughs> really love the battle music. It's quite nice. I like it! And I probably sound like I'm repeating myself. Probably did that in the last video too. Which is kind of annoying if I repeat myself. <laughs> I'm still kind of getting used to how to do this video recording stuff for YouTube and doing the voiceover commentary as I play the game at the same time. It's just figuring out what to say. <laughs> Bam! Knock you out! And one more time. Attack! Knock out! I may cut out in between certain parts if uh, I feel like it's taking too long and jump cutting to 
different sections of the game, but I shouldn't be, I shouldn't need to have to do that, but yeah, just a little heads up if you happen to see it, just jump cut to something else. Hello, I have a question. You like other things other than butterscotch or cinnamon too, do you not? Oh, what am I asking? I'll have to keep looking. You drop down here and uh get a switch. I don't Okay. I think if we drop to here we'll get a uh, ribbon, I think. Yep, that's the one. Okay, a faded ribbon. If we equip this ribbon, the monsters or when we get attacked will take less damage. Apparently. Yeah. Okay. Armor, defense, three. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. So, we equip that. You equipped it. Let's go down this hole. And see Napster Blue correct here. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can they? Oh well. <laughs> and... Here we go. The far darn is not an exit, it is simply marked a rotation in perspective. Okay. Hopefully the... I'm hoping this recording doesn't screw up like last time. That'd be really annoying if I have to do this all over again. Cause, uh... Ah, uh, I have no idea. I'm still, I'm still really annoyed with the recording, how it just screwed up. And, uh... To redo all this all over again. <coughs> I'm trying to like voiceover stuff for the characters' voices, you know, just for fun. <laughs> Not very good at it, but I try. And proceed to the next room as we go. So. I think, yes, go here, pick up this toy knife, equip it, there we go, I think, um, called Toriel, I think that's how you pronounce her name anyway, Toriel, or Toriel, however it's pronounced, let's, uh, flirt, <laughs> huh, oh, <laughs> How adorable! I wish I could pinch your cheek. You can cer you can certainly find a better. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. <clears throat> I can't English. <laughs> Let's try again. Oh dear, are you serious? I do not know if this is pathetic or endearing. This is Torreal. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. This is Torreal. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there is not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Puzzle help. This is Terrell. Help me with the puzzle? Um, you have not left the room, have you? Wait patiently for me, and we can solve it together. This is Terrell. You only wanted to say hello? Well then. Hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> Oh dear, that took a little longer than I would. Than ah, English. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Huh? How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch? Impressive, but still. I should not have left you alone for so long. 
it was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Alright. And let's save. Do you smell that? Uh, I assume that you... That expression means you do. S surprise I have baked a, I have baked a snail pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. So adorable. I really like that. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. I really love that. This little bit there, where she just sort of pats your head. And stuff. It's quite cute. Let's go jump into bed. And we wake up, and we find pie on the floor. You're carrying too much. Okay, let's take a monster candy and eat that. Alright. You found a slice of snail pie. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like the sound of snail pie. <laughs> Let's try what see what happens if we try to call. This is Torreo. You wanted to say hello again? Salutations. Is that enough? Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. This is a history book. It's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated far, far into the earth. We walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Up already? I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't always... This isn't very surprising. Still, I am very, I am glad to ha have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This is... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Well, bother me if you need something else. <coughs> I suppose I should probably drink some water because it helps your voice get better. You know, it sounds better. I hate, I hate, I really do hate the sound of my own voice. It just, I really hate it. How I sound. I just, my voice sounds like it's very bored and stuff like that, but really, I wish it was sound more casual than bored. Anyway. What is it? How to exit ruins. I have something. I have to do something. Stay here. And off she goes. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Tarell must use fire magic instead. Inside the cupboards are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there is a brand named chocolate bar in the fridge. I wonder what kind. <laughs> and there's three chairs, two large and two, one small. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. Uh, 
I'll check that one after. I'll go along to here. This is Terrell's diary. Read the circle passage. Did you read the passage? Why did the skeleton want to, a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. <laughs> Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. This is an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open in the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flower plants with brown oblong set seed pods. No, known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Terrell's sock drawer. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. It's you! Oh, it's a water sausage. <laughs> Let's go here. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. <coughs> Down we go. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. But I don't want to go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Terrell blocks the way. I really get torn about this. Whether to fight her or not to fight her. Because part of this game is just deciding whether you should fight an enemy, fight someone, or not fight them. And I don't really want to fight her. Because it's quite sad if you do beat her. Proved her to attack a little bit, but not too much, you know. I probably just if you go to spare, you know, you'll see. <laughs> I'm losing my words. <laughs> Terrell looks through you. Pretty easy to dodge her attacks sometimes. Aurel is acting aloof. Oops. Aurel takes a deep breath. Spare. What are you doing? Better use the monster candy. You get quite a sad ending if you beat her. Attack or run away. I quite love the battle music. It's, it's really energetic and quite. Well, I don't. I don't know about energetic, but it's kind of like it's just really. Exciting to listen to. What are you proving this way? Mm. 
the rail looks through you. Lost your candy. It's hard to dodge this one. Fight me or leave. Spare. Stop it! At this point, she just pretty much deliberately misses on purpose. What the hell? No. Telegram. Should have muted that. <laughs> Terrell prep prepares a magical attack. Stop looking at me that way. I really love the expression of her face. It's just... You really get the sense of emotion from coming from the character. Go away. That expression just makes me feel sad. She just doesn't really... She really doesn't want to fight you. See that expression, it just suddenly changes. I know what you want. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Oh, what the fuck? Dog. And that's the end of heart mode. Eh? You're ending it now? I know it's such a dramatic moment. That's the difficult part. Not the bullets. But accepting that it's all over. <coughs> <coughs> but there will be more, will there not? Maybe. Knowing the answer is... Heart. <laughs> hey, aren't you supposed to be dying or something? Well, what's the point in that of that now? What will you do instead? Hmm, perhaps I will bake another pie. That last one ended up a little burnt. I thought it was good. Theoretically. It's not like I ate it while you were fighting. <laughs> that bloody dog. <laughs> hey, hey! Can I have some pie? You're only just going to eat it all. I can help! Snoring on the floor is not help. <laughs> snoring on the floor is not help. I'm not snoring. I'm cheering you on in my sleep. Oh, you're still here? Don't you have anything better to do? <laughs> Undertale. Heart mode. Coming. Maybe. Eh, don't count on it. Wait a little bit longer. <laughs> Any minute now. Hey! What's the hold up? Shouldn't you be dead by now? I've been waiting in that room for... Hard mode? Gee, you better take a picture. People are gonna think you're really cool. Not. Golly. <laughs> 
talk about try hard. Pathetic. Ah, uh, so are you gonna keep going or it's over? <laughs> I knew that. Why does everyone have to be so condensing? So what's your excuse sitting around here? Don't you have anything better to- I already said that. <laughs> so, now that we've done hard mode, we can go into doing normal mode through the story. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. Okay, I'll skip that. <laughs> Undertale. Mouse. I'll do a reset, and then we can pick a new name. And I'll go as my other, my usual name. You can pick other names and it'll uh, give you something else. But I forgot what those other names are. Frisk was only the one that I knew, which gives you, gives you hard mode. So, without further ado, let's do this. A R I S. Damn it! I can't use the my full name. Damn it! Has limited characters. Okay, well, we just hit done. His name correct? Yeah. And I think I will have to leave the episode here, or we get too into it. So we're back at the beginning, and I'll leave this for the next video. So I like to say thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more of this, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see some more. I will have more other recordings of this because I plan to do a recording of this anyway. I'll probably just jump straight onto the second, well, third part of the recording after I finish this one up. Uh, yes, so we'll proceed on to the next one in the next episode. Subscribe, like, and favorite, and share with everyone if you can. And yeah, see you next time.